Right now, we're at Stanford University, where Input Output Global is founding a new laboratory. The purpose of this is to deepen our commitment to the academic community, as well as forming strong ties with leading universities around the world. Input Output has always been, at its core, a research company. Uh, we've written over 150 papers, we have institutions and relationships all throughout the world, but we always knew that we were going to broaden not just the institutions, but the set of disciplines that we look at in order to be able to achieve our mission of improving the systems of the world for everyone everywhere. So we said, let's look to some of the great universities like Carnegie Mellon, University of Connecticut, and of course here at Stanford. And we tried to find ways to create collaborations that would allow us to ask difficult problems and solve those problems, whether they be problems in game theory, problems in distributed systems, problems in programming languages. So here at Stanford, what's happened over the last eight years has been this uh, tour de force of intellectualism towards solving problems in the blockchain space. And there's a lot of amazing people at this university. And it got to a point where it made a lot of sense to set up a lab. Our research lab focuses on, uh, at the core, basic research in blockchains. However, the basic research has to, at some point, get in contact with the real world. So the way we make our research more uh, goal-oriented, more relevant, is by collaborating with industry effort, blockchain effort, including input-output. So this kind of research gives direction, purpose to the students' research. We will be gathering a call for proposal from all across the campus. And we have a steering committee of uh, faculty ranging from engineering, computer science, business school, law school, covering all aspects of blockchain research. It's going actually to empower uh, a lot of different academics from different areas to come together, prepare proposals, and then if they are approved, they will be funded uh, and they will be able to perform them and investigate the respective problems that they've identified and at the end like disseminate them widely in the spirit of uh, free and open academic research. There are a lot of research themes that are of interest. Problems related to blockchain governance. This is a really important topic. Uh, we actually aspire that these systems are going to be fundamentally long-lived. So the issues around sustainability of these systems and inclusivity are really important. And of course, like returning to what I said about governance, we have issues related to political science, social choice, management science, a lot of interesting questions that go well beyond computer science. Computer science is building tools, but now these tools have to adapt and acknowledge the understanding of these other scientific disciplines. What's nice about this particular lab is that it is not a top-down initiative, but rather a bottom-up initiative. And so it's structured in a way that enables the people in this community to work with David Shi, a professor here at Stanford, and come up with great research problems, great issues that need some resolution, and then link those to a broader research agenda of how do we get these systems to scale and be useful for billions of people throughout the world. Blockchain systems, already there are so many different uh, projects, different blockchains, uh, different distributed ledgers, and uh, one actually has to wonder how is it possible to create a, a more interconnected uh, universe of all these systems. A lot of the problems we're actually facing in this space, uh, they have to do with fundamental questions that are crossing a lot of different disciplines. Uh, we can see how critical right now is to understand regulatory compliance and blockchain systems. So we have issues related to privacy, issues related to money laundering and how to combat, let's say, the finance of terrorism. So these are things that are enshrined in law and it's very interesting to understand what type of regulatory technology can be developed uh, in conjunction with these systems that is capable of encoding and perhaps even enforcing regulation to some degree. So these are not cryptography questions or even computer science questions that go well beyond that. 
the time has come to begin to standardize and create a common vocabulary and ultimately a common set of solutions that works for everybody so they can be commoditized, standardized, and move through the industry as a whole. So we view this lab in particular as a, uh, a major step forward in kind of the cross-blockchain communication, the cross-ecosystem communication, and our hope is that the work here can standardize many things for the coming years and decades.